Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and in this video, I want to introduce to you the MPC Console Compressor. This compressor is the most advanced compressor developed by Harrison with a full suite of professional level features from our digital consoles. These features include a scrolling history of your compressor action, a program button that controls dynamics while retaining punch, an innovative depth control to limit the maximum gain reduction, a sidechain EQ with seven shapes to focus your compressor's sensitivity, and an external sidechain input which allows you to choose any other track as a key source for the MPC console compressor. So be sure to check out harrisonaudio.com to add the MPC console compressor to your studio's toolkit. So looking at the plugin, let's take a listen to the acoustic part I have in this song and start exploring some of the options that we have with the depth, attack, release, ratio, knee, and makeup. So first off, what we want to do is bring down the threshold so we get a little bit more compression. What you'll notice first of all is the depth knob will limit the amount of compression you get once the signal passes the threshold by a certain amount. So let's move the depth knob around a little bit so I can show you what I mean. So we're getting about negative 6 dB of gain reduction. So you can see with the setting of 15, I'm allowing the full range of compression, but as I reduce it, possibly all the way down to zero, I can have zero compression because I'm not allowing anything to compress. So let's say I have a certain level of compression on the lower portion of the performance, but as the performance gets louder, I wanna keep the same level of compression without over compressing. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and let's raise the gain of this acoustic guitar. So you can see this is gonna start off low and then get a lot louder. Let's just see what the compression does at that point. Notice in this range right here, that compression is staying nice and smooth. But if I have a higher setting, that will allow more compression once that volume gets louder. So let's listen again. So let's bring it back to the stock setting and see what happens when I go from a lower level to a higher level. Okay, so that's a pretty good example of what the depth knob can do. So now let's work on the program button. This is a very popular thing to do in broadcast. Very similar to where you have a DJ doing a voiceover kind of work, but then at the next second, you have a piece of music coming in. And you want those two signals to have a good level of compression without having to go change a bunch of settings. And it will adjust your attack and release times in the background, depending on what kind of signal that you send through it. So once again, let's listen to our acoustic guitar, and then we'll switch over to bass and then the full mix. Okay, and now let's go over to our bass guitar. 
And this is what that sounds like. Okay, and here's the compressor on the master bus. So we can hear what it sounds like with the full mix. Program off. Program on. And lastly, let's look at the sidechain EQ. This is actually really cool because this allows you to filter out what the compression actually detects in the signal. So if you only want to compress the low end, the mids, or the high end, you can easily do that with the sidechain compressor. And this has a key listen so we can actually hear which frequency range the compressor is affecting. So in this example, I'm actually pushing more mids into the compression, which means it's gonna compress the mids even more and give you kind of that smiley face, scooped kind of sound. Now the opposite will be true. If I scoop out the mids in the sidechain compression, I'm actually compressing less mids and more of the lows and more of the highs. Now let me push the mids back up. So we're actually over compressing the mid range. Here it is with it off. So it is a really cool effect. And lastly, let me show you how to set up an external key so you can do sidechain compression with a bass and a kick. Okay, so here's my bass guitar. I'm gonna add the MPC plugin. Then using the pin connections, I can choose sidechain, then choose my kick. And now whenever the kick hits, my bass will be reduced in volume. So thanks guys for checking out the MPC console compressor. For more information, go to harrisonaudio.com to check out the sale of this plugin. Until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and I'll see you in the next video.